Coming up, after recent staff firings and cuts to the special ed program at a Watsonville school, we're on the scene of a rally tonight. Our report on KION at 11. A new study by UC Santa Cruz is showing how a beloved animal in the Monterey Bay is playing a big role preserving the local ecosystem. KION's Jocelyn Ortega went in search of sea otters and explains how they help tonight. Researchers say this means more money for the county as it draws in thousands of tourists every day who not only want to see the sea life, but also to admire the kelp forests like the one at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Michael Medrano says he traveled to Moss Landing all the way from Texas just to catch a glimpse of sea otters in person. And today he was lucky. I've been road tripping across the country and I saw that this was one of the best spots to see sea otters. They were so adorable and there was about two of them. A study by UC Santa Cruz researchers and scientists from the Monterey Bay Aquarium says there's lots more to them than just their cuteness. They say warmer waters and an increase in purple sea urchins that feed off the kelp were major factors in the decline in kelp forests locally, something researchers say was once of abundance in the county. That's where sea otters came to the rescue because the good news is these sea urchins are a good food source for them. Because the sea otters are targeting these urchins in the patches of forests, they're actually helping to maintain the remnant kelp forest patches that we have here in Monterey Bay. Smith explains these purple sea urchins have grown in large numbers mostly because of the disappearance in recent years of a type of sea star that was a predator to the urchins. These scientists and researchers say that maintaining the kelp forest is not just essential for other sea life, but also for the local economy. Protection from storms and erosion. Um, it acts as this barrier. It's also a big deal in terms of tourism and, you know, people like to go dive in these kelp forests. And that's a huge part of the attraction of, of the Monterey Bay and uh, up and down the California coast as well. Smith says a years long study was done to find out how sea otters were responding to the increase of the sea urchins. The scientists and researchers say they will continue their studies to see what other role these sea otters and other sea creatures play in the local environment. In Moss Landing, Jocelyn Ortega, KIO News Channel 546.